Okay, so what I would do is have five or six newspapers, and I would throw them to different places in the audience. So we would throw one out there, and maybe another one out there. Then we would select a, a random audience member to choose someone with a newspaper. In fact, in this instance, we have, uh, oh, Peter, now he's got a newspaper. Somebody has select Peter. So Peter stands up, and, and I say, Peter, what newspaper have you got? I've got a telegraph. Okay, so Peter's got a telegraph, a posh newspaper in the UK. Okay, so we're going to make a note of that, the telegraph. Okay, I'm going to choose somebody else randomly in the audience to tell Peter a page number, and there's going to be roughly maybe 60, 70 pages in the telegraph, and somebody comes up with, let's say, page 16. So they say, Peter, can you turn to page 16 in the Daily Telegraph, confirming that every page is different. Peter does so, and I ask him to rip that page out. He rips the entire page out. Now I ask him to rip that page in half, and then half again, then in half again. So he's ended up with a six, seven inch square of newspaper. Then I ask him to... Uh, to find a, a word on that newspaper, either side, and he looks, and on page 16, he finds the word, Peter? Treatment. Treatment, okay. So we'll make a note of that. All right, thank you, Peter. Then I say to the audience, give Peter a massive round of applause, because he's going to come up to the front. Peter makes his way to the front of the stage. Come on up, Peter. Hello, sir. Hi. Thank you for coming up. Um, in all this time, there's been an envelope sat in full view. Now, you don't have to do it this way. Sometimes I will pass it out to an audience member. Uh, Peter, just hold on tight to that for a second. Yep. Uh, remember what Peter chose. Uh, page 16 was randomly selected. Then you ripped the page up. You chose the word treatment. Yep. Random decision. You've could have gone with either side of the newspaper. 60, 70 pages in that newspaper. You could have made any choice. Okay. Peter. Often people say to me when I do this, maybe somehow you've, you've changed the envelope. You've removed this one and replaced it with another. So I'll tell you what we're going to do right now. What I'd like you to do, Peter, is I'd like you to sign that envelope for me. So we know it's yours, so we know it's not going to be changed. And also, of course, the signature could be worth the money later on. Peter, uh, in this envelope that's been sealed and in full view from before we started, if you look into there, there is another envelope. Okay. Inside of this envelope is yet another envelope. Peter, just take hold of that. You can keep it. You can just check that uh, that is just a real envelope. Inside of that envelope is yet another envelope. Out of this envelope, I'm going to take yet another envelope. Hold on tight to that for me. Strange thing about this is on the back of this envelope, taped to it, is yet another envelope. And right on there, taped to the back, envelopes, taped on envelopes, sealed up. I'm going to open this one up. Inside this envelope is yet another. Can you take that envelope out from inside the computer? In the envelope that's taped to the back of that envelope, yet another envelope. Could you take that one for me? Okay. And we'll get rid of that. Peter. In the white envelope, I'm going to take out, there's a letter in there. I'm going to read this letter out. That's what it says. We go through life making many random decisions. Many of those choices and decisions will be in turn go on to influence other events in our lives. As humans, we simply accept this as our fate. However, some people believe that their, that their lives are mapped out from birth. Every choice, every decision, no matter how small, have already been decided long before we even make them. In your hand is a small brown envelope. The contents of that envelope, placed there many hours ago, may prove that our fate is indeed already decided upon. Peter, this envelope has been in full view. That one with inside many other envelopes. Yep. I'm going to ask you to unseal that envelope, and in there you're going to find a piece of newspaper. I'd like you to open that piece of newspaper, and on that piece of newspaper you'll find two things circled. You'll find that I've circled a page number, and that I've circled a word. Which page number did I circle, Peter? Uh, page 16. Page 16. What word did I circle? Treatment. Page 16, the word treatment, one word in millions.